Welcome to a day in my life at Penton Dental Medicine as a D1 student. I first started off by picking my favorite set of scrubs, gotta make sure I got the right shirt. Then I brushed my teeth, had to shave so I look presentable, and we are off and ready to go. Got the scrubs on, rocking the regular pant fit, not the joggers today. I'm gonna grab my USA Jordans. I'm gonna throw these guys on. We are officially ready for class. So today we're gonna to be waxing. This is gonna be my first time waxing, so I'm really excited. We're gonna be waxing this guy right here, which is our top right central incisor, number eight. And yeah, probably not gonna be good at waxing, but practice makes progress. So we'll see how I do. See you guys at the school. Making a quick smoothie before class. I put some strawberries in there, a whole banana, some non-fat Greek yogurt, some soy milk, and then some ice on the bottom. So I'm gonna blend this guy up real quick. My dad got me this mini magic bullet. Such a game changer. Mm. So good. Gonna turn on my scooter and scoot to campus. I unfortunately wasn't able to record my waxing session as I lost my waxing kit. I guess I misplaced it. Hopefully it shows up. Luckily, Penn's faculty was very quick in helping me with my situation. They replaced my waxing kit with a kit they had lying around and I will return that kit once my kit shows up. Fingers crossed. But I will return today at six to continue my wax up. I'll show you guys the progress there. Here's some photos that I took of it now. I waxed for about 30, 45 minutes so still has a lot of work to do. Oh, yes sir, for the vlog, for the vlogs. Got a taco tutorial at PDM. At Penn Dental Medicine, we have these super cool drilling simulators and we can come in whenever we want. So I want to get some time in to practice my technique and craft. Basically, we have this screen right here, which we can control our block that you see right there by rotating this, moving it around. And we want to position our block perfectly along the lines. And we get this, which is our handpiece, and it controls on the screen. So we just look through the screen and it's like we're drilling. We step on this right here and it starts drilling. We have a mirror right here and it's all controlled through magnets. So it's a very cool system. And check out the view. But yeah, time to put in some work. So the goal is to drill within the green margins and obviously don't touch the skin, just drill the red cavity. So demonstration. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but that is a demonstration and you don't want to get past the green on the bottom level. So for whatever reason, this computer is not giving me my score, but usually my score would appear here and it will tell me how much I cut into the wall, what my leeway bottom is. But yeah, it's a very cool way to practice drilling and very fortunate to have it here at Penn. So as you can see, as you start drilling, you start clearing out the area, getting rid of all that black. And clearly, I'm not doing too great of a job. You want to try to keep this surface smooth, but uh, yeah, that's why I'm here practicing. So according to our faculty, it's pretty representative to drilling on the tooth and it's great practice. And it's actually a lot of fun. It's kind of like a video game. You always want to beat your previous score and, and check out my best attempt today. That's my final score. Overall, pretty decent. Best score I've gotten so far, so I'm happy with the results. Now let's check on how Kathleen's doing with her drilling at Meriden. Hey guys, so similarly to Nico, today in SimLab we practice drilling. Before we start drilling on the fake Typodont teeth, we start with these Lerna Prep blocks, which have three layers. The white layer is enamel, the yellow layer is dentin, and the pink layer is pulp. 
We use this to learn how to drill and how deep to go when we're doing a filling. Today we practice drilling 1.5 millimeters deep, just hitting the enamel layer before the dentin layer. To me, drilling is harder than waxing. It just takes getting used to. I'm still learning how to hold the drill correctly, but I'll get better as I keep practicing. Let's go back to Nico and see what he's up to with waxing. Quick iced coffee before waxing. Currently working. This is a progress. Not looking great so far. Here with the molar menace. Let's check yours out. Work okay, not bad. Let's check yours out. Kind of like a tooth. I'll take it. We're getting there, we're getting there. Connor, all right, cool. Waxing of the day complete. Still needs a lot of work, but practice makes progress. Let's see yours, Muller Menace. So I broke half of the tooth about five seconds ago. So we rebonded it. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> so bad. Hey, not too bad. What are we working with, Connor? Working on the cingulum. We're trying to get a little more rounded out of top, but trying to get, remove this little chunk of Alright, not bad. In. Let's front, see the front. Front's looking solid, I'd say. There we go. Could be a little bit better, but it'll do. Alrighty. Officially done for the day. Some feedback I got from the TA was I needed to add a little more wax on my mesial and distal angles and on the back I need to add some wax on the cingulum and make the marginal ridges a little bit straighter and more flush. Anyways, let's see how Kathleen's wax up is coming along. I, um, mesial up. The other thing that I want you to appreciate is and I think talk about um, posterior teeth is that the bars on red Hey guys, we're waxing part of number 19 today. I already put one layer of wax and we're just gonna do the occlusal anatomy now. So I just finished forming the margins and I got the okay from my professor to move on. So I'm gonna start building up this mesial lingual cusp as well as forming the occlusal anatomy. Hey Brie Bear. Hello. Ooh. Oh my gosh, am I in the vlog? Yes, you are in the vlog. How is it? It's good. I'm just working on the occlusal. <laughs> so am I, honestly. It's rough out here, but we got this. Having okay. Nice. Well, now I'm going to study. All right, all done with the day. Now we're making some turkey burgers, seasoning them with some steak seasoning, garlic powder. Gotta shake them up.
Well, that pretty much covers a day in my life at Penn Dental Medicine. It's currently around 11.15, so I'm gonna study for another 30 minutes and then call it a day. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned because Kathleen will be doing a day in the life at Maryland Dental. And we will also be posting a video soon about our loop fair, trying on loops, and doing an unboxing of our loops. So stay tuned for that. And just an FYI, I wanted to throw a disclaimer. Although today was very stacked with lab and wax and drilling there's a lot of days where i have eight hours of lecture and that's just dental school and that's normal i just wanted to display a more eventful day so i picked the most stacked day of my week to do this video so keep that in mind there are some days where i have lecture from 8 a.m to 5 p.m with a one hour lunch break and that's just dental school it is what it is 